Today I'm going to walk you through installing the Cyanogens mod. So this is the step after you've um, you've uh, installed the recovery image and also you've copied over the cy latest Cyanogens mod uh, zip file and the Google add-on to the SD card. Now once after you've done that, turn off your phone, hold down the track button and press on the power button. So you go into the bootloader mode. There you go. So now I'm in the bootloader mode. So now what we're going to do is uh, choose on bootloader. It's on there. Just press the power button again. And then now it's going to go through and uh, check the SD card for some stuff. Give it like two seconds. There you go. Now it's, uh, go down one with the, the volume. Choose on recovery to get into the recovery mode. And uh, once you have the recovery mode image, you know, onto the Nexus One, it's really easy to install custom mod. And you know, there's also Modaco. You can install the latest uh, HTC Desire, Desiree, or whatever. Anyway, um, now we're here. Now you'll want to uh, back up. Uh, you have to use the trackball, by the way. You want to back up your old stuff. So go to backup. Go to an Android backup. And then it'll ask you to hit it one more time, create an Android backup. What this will do is create a backup of your um, current operating system, whatever it is. It could be the factory one, but this makes a complete backup. So just in case something goes wrong, if you break your phone, the recovery image, you know, the recovery boot should always boot up. So you can always recover. So that's the good part. Anyway, it's it's pretty hard to brick it, I, I would say. But uh, once that's done backing up, we'll um, flash the new Cyanogens mod. Anyway, let me put that down there. And uh, so it's backing up. Be almost done here. Um, almost done here. Okay, it's done now. So now you can see it's done. So let's go press on the down button, then it'll go back to the previous menu. And you want to go choose wipe and then choose on the first one data factory reset and then press it one more time to wipe everything. So now it's going to format all your data just so it's not corrupt. Well, that was quick, so it's done. So go back to the main uh, menu now. Go choose on flash zip from SD card and then choose on the, the, uh, the zip file that's on the SD card. This is the Cyanogen. The, it's usually called the Update CM 5.0.41 N1 sign. Okay, so hit that button and then hit it one more time. It's going to ask you. Now it's actually flashing the Cyanogen's uh, mod, which is cool. I know there's a lot of uh, guides out there, but none of them actually you know, have a lot of pictures and it took me like a couple hours to get it the first time, but once you get the hang of it, it's I guess pretty easy. But it's my first time doing it. Well, it was my first time doing it, so it was kind of hard. But now it's installing. Doop -doo -doo. Isn't this cool, by the way? Um, it's copying files. Let me put it down. My hands is getting kind of tired here. I realized that the Cyanogen's mod is awesome because uh, it basically your, makes your Nexus One like into a super Nexus One. You know, there's like no reason, no other reason to not install it other than that, you know, it's gonna void your warranty. But seriously, you know, unless you drop your phone or, you know, I mean, if you if you have one of those warranty where they replace it. You know, if you drop it in the water, you know, if something goes wrong, just drop it in the water. Or I'm not saying to do it, but I'm just saying it's more fun. Um, so it's almost done flashing the system. 
And after this, we're gonna flash the Google add-on, which comes with the Google packages. The reason why, oh, there you go. Let me do this first. Um, so now it's done. Now let's go back and flash zip. Uh, we're gonna add the, we're gonna zip the, uh, flash the Google add-on zip. So go back here and then choose on the G apps, G passion. That's the Google add-on. Now it's flashing. Oh, press one more time. Now it's flashing the Google add-on. Uh, why do you have to, you know, install this separately? Because I think what happened was uh, uh, Cyanogen, the guy who made it, he got a, a cease and desist letter from Google, and there's a lot of leg legalities, whatever. So he has to make it separate, you know. Just like you have to install Flash separate from the OS. Anyway, that's done. So it's com complete. So go reboot system now. And uh, we just flashed uh, our Nexus One, and it should boot. And uh, you should get instead of the regular Nexus One, you should get the uh, the cyanogen, cyan color, you know, the blue, 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 blue thing, you know. Anyway. My hands are getting really tired. Doop -doo -doo. Come on. My next goal is probably try different things. But I've also noticed that I installed this aftermarket keyboard, which is free. You know, once you root it and you know install this mod, it's your your phone can do so much more things than just download apps from the app store. See, see that sign? Silence and also boots up much faster. I think I hope I did it right. If you do it wrong, you can always wipe your data and try it again because I failed my first time. So maybe it's just taking a while because it's the very first time it's booting up since I've reinstalled it. Uh oh. Well, that's how you install it. Um, I think I have to reinstall mine. Something went wrong here, but oh, never mind. It came up now. So now you can see it started over. And uh, okay, I skip, skip. No, no. So you'll have to do reset everything, I guess, but. That's the Cyanogen's mod now, which is cool. Um, I, I have another video that you can see that shows the functionality of it. But that was how to install Cyanogen mod. Cyanogen. No. Anyway, you see the H S D P A instead of the E. Uh, that was it. See you.